Hi guys, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. As you can see, there's some boxes right here. Just ignore them, just ignore them, and stay tuned for the new gym update that's coming up here very shortly. Uh, got, got a lot of new equipment, super sick, just, the gym is where it should be, the gym is where it's at, it, it's like, it's just epic. And if you live in the Evansville, Indiana area, uh, I might be potentially taking in some clients. Now, if I do, I'm going to be doing this on the higher end scale. I do like private type of training for people who don't want to go to the gym. But uh, I'm not quite sure if I want to do it because it's going to have to, I'm going to have to tar charge a pretty high rate for it to be worth my time for everything I have going on in my life right now. But that option is a possibility. So make sure you're hitting that subular button to see this new gym update that's coming up. Now, what do we got going on? So, I hit my new low weigh-in. I told myself I wasn't going to refeed this weekend unless I hit 146 because that was my new low weigh-in that I needed to hit for me to be okay with doing a refeed again. Well, I said, hey, it'd be a good idea to get some views on the channel and, and attract more people to the channel if you do a 10,000 calorie challenge because those just do really well. It's one of my most watched videos and we attempted it. So, you know, it was a dumb idea because well, we epic failed it. So if that video's not out already, it'll be out shortly. And I, I just wouldn't advise a 10K challenge. I don't see people, why people would do that. It's just not healthy. It made me feel like garbage. I ended up just getting to the point where I was like, dude, this is so like, this is like on the equivalency of just doing drugs and stuff. So uh, my physique, once again, is like down from where it should be, uh, at least for y'all's appearances, at least for y'all's perception, because uh, my low weigh-in was actually 145. Point six. Now that was super good. Uh, I didn't even think it would go that low, but I, you know, I'm close to almost another half pound off from where I wanted to be for my low weigh-in for the week. Now I do not think that I'm going to stay at the weight I'm at right now, which is 150 pounds. Uh, I'm, I'm back up to 150 due to doing this 10K challenge last night, and it's got me bloated looking, but. We'll keep on moving through this thing, and we're also going to kind of just take y'all through some of the process, kind of vlog how we're going to recover from this diet. Now, today is my workout day, Sunday, 10K challenge on Saturday, so it worked good with being fueled up, but I'll be honest, I feel like garbage. I feel like I did drugs yesterday, like I'm just like lethargic and just like have no energy. I've taken energy supplements pre-workout, and it's just like having no effect, like I'm just not feeling anything, and that's just because my body's still trying to process all this food that's inside of me. But I think once I start working out, I'm overall going to start feeling way more pumped, feel like I have a lot of energy, get out of this lethargic state, get my heart rate up, and just get back on track. But in that, in the next few like vloggy style videos that we're going to uh, kind of show you guys how you can recover from a binge eating day, which is essentially what we had yesterday, even though it was planned out. So I'm going to go ahead and shut my mouth and do this physique comparison from the beginning to now and from last week to now. So I'm going to start off relaxed, not pumped. No, I haven't worked out or anything today. I haven't done any physical activity, so relaxed. If we ever see tomorrow, babe, I know that I lived how I wanted to. So now that I've taken, taken y'all through the relaxed state, I'm going to try to flex things out, make them look a little bit better. I tend to not flex my arms very much when I do this. I tend to just kind of flex my abs and try to make my abs look better in like my chest and back area. But, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm getting better. So let's go ahead and do this flexed state pose. Make it through today. If we never see
Ooh. Now it's time for me to attempt the pose that I think is going to be my best pose. Let me know in the comments below if you think I have a better pose or something that might complement my physique. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This one's probably actually going to be a garbage one, but I bet you the comparison from this week to next week is going to be hella better. Uh, and also, if I don't hit 145 for this next week coming in, then I'm not going to do a refeed for the weekend. So, in that case, then I'll definitely look a lot better on the weekend, and I won't have had a refeed. Now, even though I am bloated out and like I'm, my fat doesn't look near as good, and that kind of sucks... I do feel a lot better as far as my fullness of my muscles. I do feel like, you know, whenever you get real flat, you feel like all your gains just went out the window and like you're back to like square one. You feel like you're the same size as you were when you started and especially whenever you're still at a higher body fat percentage. Now when I'm completely shredded and I'm flat, I won't feel near as bad about it because I'll have that ripped physique and my muscles will still be, be more present and uh, more obvious. Whereas now they're kind of hidden from some of the bloatedness, but overall I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty good about everything. Feeling nice and full uh, today. I'm feeling uh, like garbage, but I feel like as far as my muscle density and like how like full my muscles are, that 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 part of it is is going pretty well. Also, I'm really satisfied with my progress so far. Things are dropping at the exact rate that I want them to. I'm looking to drop a pound every week. Uh, I'm dieting Monday through Friday as if I'm trying to lose two pounds a week, but with the refeed, that kind of compensates to, to gain a pound back. And the reason why I'm going about doing that is because I'm trying to do a method of periodization that is not going to keep me in a deficit for a long period of time. And there's also studies that show by doing refeeds ever so often that you actually lose more fat faster. And that, go, that goes into your body having time to recover, having time to heal, having your hormones restabilize, and a lot of other factors. But it does stretch out the length of your diet. So that's why I'm cutting so aggressively then refeeding. So that way I have days where my body can just heal itself. It can have all the nutrients and everything it needs to get back on point. And then I cut, 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 cut. And then I can refeed and get all my nutrients back up again. And I just keep that process going as long as I can until I'm not losing the rate of fat that I need to. Everybody else that is doing summer shredding, most of the other fitness influencers are just now starting this week. So I'm quite a bit ahead. Now a lot of their physiques are already way... Uh, more advanced than mine. They've been working out five, ten years and whatnot, whereas I've only been working out for about two and a half years. So I don't have quite the muscle mass on me that a lot of those other guys have. So I needed to start off a little bit sooner to be able to get as shredded as they were and uh, get to the physique that I need to be able to get to to compete in this physique challenge. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in an image of what I look like when I started a few when I started this summer shredding compared to now. So check that out. Let me know what you all think about this image here. It's uh, it's a tremendous change. I was completely in bulk mode, and now my physique is, I'm definitely a lot smaller. I'm definitely a lot smaller, but I don't think I lost muscle mass. I think I was just overall just so full, uh, and, and I was also carrying a high, high body fat, high, high body fat percentage, and I had a lot of uh, fat poly intermuscular, so it made my muscles look a lot bigger as well. But like I said, complete bulk mode compared to where I'm at now. I'm looking pretty lean. And uh, overall, I'm feeling really good about some of my days. So guys, if you stuck around till the end, then you must like something here. So make sure you're hitting that subular button and hitting that notification bell. I'll catch y'all in the next one.